What's up guys? So today I am coming to you with a little video on how to get around any type of activation error uh, that happens with iOS 7. Uh, so if you can see here, I am running iOS 7. I'll slide to unlock. Um, there is iOS 7. So as you can see, I mean, I can't really fake this any, but uh, go into general, go into about, and if you can see right there, let's see here, version 7.0. Either way, I'm running the latest version, which is uh, iOS 7.0 uh, beta 6. So I'm going to show you guys uh, really quick uh, how to avoid, well not really avoid, uh, the activation error, but if you ever get it, this is how to get back to iOS 7 or to get out of the activation error period. So give me one second here. So what I'm going to do to get to this activation error is I'm going to erase all content and settings, uh, which is going to force the phone to go through the activation one more time. So erase the phone. I'm going to put in my password. Now what you guys are going to want to do, I'm going to put the links in the description for you, but you are going to need both iOS 6.0, the current version uh, running on either the iPhone 5, whatever device you have. Uh, I've got the iPhone 5, so I'm going to have iOS 6.1.4. Um, and you are going to need going to need the latest version of iOS 7 beta, uh, which as far as a firmware, like a solid um, block of operating system on the internet right now, all I have to give you right now is iOS 7 beta 5. But from there, you are going to be able to update over the air by going to settings, general, and then software update, and you're going to be able to get iOS 7 uh, beta 6. Anyway, here we go. We are almost done here. It's just deleting a bunch of my crap, my photos and text messages and things that I don't need. I mean, I'll live. But uh, what you're going to want to do is uh, definitely have iOS 6, the latest version, ready. Uh, I'll put the links to those uh, firmwares in the description as well as the latest version of iOS 7 beta, uh, which in this case is iOS 7 beta 5. Um, that will also be in the description. Now, honestly, uh, as of iOS 7 beta 6, I've seen no issues with the operating system, meaning uh, battery life is not too bad. Uh, everything seems to work. Nothing really crashes. Uh, basically, I'm, I'm really impressed uh, with the operating system. Now, that doesn't take away from my opinion of the operating system, uh, which... To me, I think went really away from what Apple has done in the past with their their phones. Um, so we will see, you know, as far as the next iPhone that comes out, we'll see if I like that or not. Um, it's going to be forced to run iOS 7, so we'll see if I continue getting iPhones. But anyway, uh, also that's one good point here. Um, first, uh, I need you guys to really uh, start following my uh, YouTube channel because come day one of that iPhone 5s release I'm going to have the device in hand uh, I'm gonna open up a new line to get the discounted price on the phone and then I'm going to uh, give you guys an in-depth comparison between the iPhone 5 and then the new one and whether or not it's even worth it to get it so maybe saving you guys some money time effort whatever it should be alright so we're gonna go through this real quick uh, I'm gonna select English United States I'm going to connect to iTunes. It's already there. All right, guys. So as you can see, uh, I've got my phone plugged in. Uh, it's saying connect to iTunes. However, on my iPhone or on my iTunes screen here, you're going to see activation error. Uh, in order <clears throat> to activate your phone, if it ever does come to this uh, particular instance, uh, you're going to need to put the phone into DFU mode. So we'll start with that. First things first, you're going to hold this button and this button together for 10 seconds. So we'll start with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let go of the power button and continue holding the home button. If everything works, iTunes should recognize the phone in DFU mode or recovery mode. 
which you can see here. So it's going to continue to be blank. Uh, nothing is going to work. Um, it's just going to say restore the phone. So um, first things first, this is what you're, the, the most critical part is to hold option if you are on a Mac, hold shift if you are on Windows, and click restore phone. This is going to give you access to uh, any file on your computer. So you're going to go fetch the iOS 6.0 beta whatever uh, version of your for, for your phone. All right, so we're going to go find our iOS 7 or 6.1.4 version. Here's mine right here. We're going to hit open. We're going to hit restore, and we are going to start seeing it update back. Well, actually, we're not seeing it update. We're seeing it put 6.1.4 onto the phone. Uh, because Apple is, quote, signing this firmware, meaning because Apple is allowing people to still go through this update, uh, Apple will allow you to do this freely between iOS 7 and iOS 6.1.4 until the portal is closed. Uh, now, technically, if you really, 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 really want to be able to do this forever, uh, you're going to download an application. I'll put it in the description. It's called Tiny Umbrella. Basically what it's going to do is it's going to save what are called SHSH blobs uh, which allow you to basically skip the whole step of verifying with Apple. This is how people can get away with still being able to jailbreak their device. Even after they've updated they can go back, forth, whatever it should be. Um, to me it's kind of um, it's kind of worth it to me right now because I personally really really liked iOS 6.1.4. In fact, I really liked every operating system before iOS 7, but you know, maybe it'll grow on me. Anyway, if you guys can see here, um, iOS 6.1.4 is being loaded onto my iPhone. As soon as it's done, um, I'll show you guys how to get to iOS 7.0 beta 5. You can see right here, it says I. 6.1.4 anyway uh, sweet so I got the phone down to 6.1.4 uh, now I am going to have all of these links right here for iOS 7 beta 6 on my website my website is ijbupdates.com oh man that is bright but anyway uh, my website is ijbupdates.com and if uh, you need to download that, it'll be right here in all of these drop-downs. Okay, you just click it, it'll download straight to your computer. As of right now, I've got nine minutes left on my download for iOS 7.0. Um, I'll come back as soon as that's done and show you guys how to get to iOS 7. And actually, you know what, I tell you what, all you're going to do is, it's very simple, you're going to have to get that firmware you're going to plug your phone in, okay, with the phone plugged in, okay, literally doing nothing but having the phone plugged in. You are going to hold Option or Shift, depending on whether or not you're on a Windows or Mac computer, and you're going to hit Check for Update. Do not hit Restore. Hit Check for Update. Anyway, um, as soon as you've done that, uh, you can go and find your corresponding firmware. Now, I recommend that as soon as you are finished downloading this this file right here that you put it somewhere that you can easily access okay so for instance this file is downloading you hit the spotlight and it will show you where the file is downloading okay so this file uh, was last modified in 1984 which is not correct but basically as soon as this file is done if you just grab the file and drag it to your desktop then the file is going to be on your desktop that way you can easily get to it as soon as you hit option or shift uh, check for update then you can go to desktop find your file and hit open now as soon as you hit open uh, you are going to um, see a little verification box pop up you hit verify that it, Apple will allow you to install iOS 7. Uh, as soon as that goes through all of its updating, uh, you're going to have iOS 7 beta 6 on your phone. Now, at this point, 
you are in the clear. No one is going to be able to do anything. Do not restore your phone. Do not erase this content and settings like I did earlier. Uh, but just for referencing, this is how you can go from iOS 7 to iOS 6.1.4. This is how you can go back and forth freely and especially if you run into that activation error that some people are reporting uh, that has become an issue. So uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, this is IJB Updates on YouTube. Um, follow me on Twitter at IJB Updates and also follow me on Twitter at It's Me a and w. All the links are going to be in the description below. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, please subscribe and Give me a like button. If you can just hit the like button, if you're signed in, you hit the like button. and It just helps a ton. You have no idea. Um, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, come back soon. Uh, I should have the, uh, the iPhone 5S in my hands within the month. So thanks for watching, guys.